In April 2016, the Act of Recognition of Christ as King of Poland was approved by Polish church authorities and the government. It was officially proclaimed at the Basilica of Divine Mercy Devotion in Wagiewniki near Kraków on the 19th of November of the same year. Shortly before the Solemnity of Christ the King, thousands of people gathered for the occasion in the shrine. There were cardinals, bishops, priests, religious from different orders, together with lay faithful and the government officials, including the President of Poland, Andrzej Duda. During Mass, Cardinal Stanisław Dziwisz said, Let us not be afraid of such an act. Jesus Christ takes nothing from us and gives everything. His reign does not threaten anyone, because it expresses itself through the love that was crucified. After the homily, the official act was read. Let me quote a few sentences from it. Christ reign over us, reign in our homeland, reign in every nation, for the greater glory of the Holy Trinity and for the salvation of people. Make our homeland and the whole world your kingdom, the kingdom of truth and life, the kingdom of holiness and grace, the kingdom of justice, love and peace. Brothers and sisters, on the day of Pentecost, St. Peter said, God made him whom you crucified, both Lord and Messiah. Jesus has all authority in heaven and on earth from the Father, and thus he is King of the nations, worthy of worship, as we pray in the Eucharistic hymn of St. Thomas Aquinas. In today's first reading, the prophet Daniel foretold the kingship of a saviour. On him was conferred sovereignty, glory and kingship, and men of all peoples, nations and languages became his servants. His sovereignty is an eternal sovereignty which shall never pass away, nor will his empire ever be destroyed. In his letter to the Romans, St. Paul wrote, if your lips confess that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. By believing from the heart, you are made righteous. By confessing with your lips, you are saved. Personally, I love this quote very much, because a part of it, Jesus is the Lord, I chose as a motto for my priestly life, placing it on the holy pictures that I distributed after celebrating my first Masses as a priest. It is amazing that according to Paul, the simplest confession of Jesus' reign and lordship is enough to achieve salvation, because it expresses faith that Jesus of Nazareth is the Messiah announced by the prophets. Hence, the essence of the act of accepting Jesus as King and Lord is to confess his reign with faith. Brothers and sisters, on the 1050th anniversary of accepting Christianity, Poland solemnly recognized the kingship of Jesus Christ. We believe that Jesus is the King not only of Poland, but of all the universe. On this solemnity of Christ the King, it shouldn't be for us a problem to renew our baptismal promises and choose Jesus as our Lord and King as well. We need to remember that if we want to enter his eternal kingdom, he must reign in our lives. In today's Gospel, Jesus said to Pilate, Yes, I am a king. We know that this is true. Today, we have a great opportunity to renew our commitment to Jesus the King as a church community and individually as well. In fact, I believe it is extremely important to do it first on our own with conviction and sincerity. Subsequently, 
we will be capable to serve him well in his church. Please pray with me. Lord Jesus, once again, I recognize you as my King. I want to serve you with all my heart. I offer you my life and I pledge my allegiance to you. Accept my humble declaration and one day let me enter your eternal kingdom. Amen.